This might be the easiest upgrade you can make to any tool that gives it repeatable precision accuracy. Not even kidding. Check this out. This is a digital readout for your planer and not just the DW735X. They're available for multiple different planers, the 34, even big planers like industrial size. You can get this, it's easy to install. Take you like five, 10 minutes, super easy. If you watch my Oliver planer review, it had that Wixie digital readout. I loved having that on the planer. What this is gonna allow you to do is have repeatable accuracy. Nothing is more frustrating than getting to the point in the project where you're gluing up boards for a cutting board or a tabletop and one of those boards is cracked or has a major defect and you can't use it. You've already milled all your boards and you're ready to go. Now what? Well, you gotta go back and start remilling and getting those exact right thicknesses is almost impossible unless you have a digital readout on your planer. This is gonna help you do that. You can just take a digital caliper, measure your tabletop, your cutting board, and then you'll be able to match it exactly down to the thousandth of an inch is how accurate this thing will get. Also, if you have a CNC, this is gonna allow you to just plane your board. You'll be able to read that number on the screen and know exactly how thick that board is. So you don't even have to worry about measuring it again with a caliper. You already know, you can put it in the software, set your zero, you're off to the races. Let me show you how easy this is to install. Take you about 10, 15 minutes max, and that's being generous. And then you'll be having that digital accuracy you've always wanted. Did you always want it? Well, you do now. Mike over at Tay Tools sent me this to check out. If you want to check it out for yourself, link in the description and a pinned comment. Let me show you what this thing can do. First thing we got to do is remove this red indicator off the front of the scale. Pretty easy to do. You're just going to take out two screws. It is no accident I'm using this DeWalt impact as well as a DeWalt bit, just so they all match. Hashtag not sponsored. The first thing we got to do is put this bracket on. It's just going to use two thumb screws. They're the only two thumb screws look like this in the package, and they're going in those top two holes. You'll install it so that the bracket goes away from the digital readout, and then you'll just hand tighten those down. Not too tight. You still want this to be able to move. Also included in the pack is this 3M double stick tape. Don't freak out if you don't like double stick tape. This is just to kind of hold things in place until you can permanently attach it. First piece we're going to install between the top two holes. Center it up as best you can. Second piece between these middle two holes. Now we're just going to remove this back film off of these. Once that's done, there's two clear acrylic pieces in there. We're going to take these out of the plastic, then just set them on top of that double stick tape and press down. For the other two pieces of double stick tape you have left, you'll just stick those on the back of those plastic box. Next up, take this L bracket, this spacer, and two black bolts, and you're going to bolt those into the same place where we took off the red indicator. All right, now we're going to attach the digital readout or DRO to the planer itself. Just going to remove that double stick tape backing. Then you're just going to press it onto the existing scale. Now, you want to set that bolt about a quarter inch below the zero on your scale, and that should position it correctly. You also want to line up the left side of this piece of aluminum with that scale. Once it's stuck, it's going to be there, so make sure you got it where you want it. Well, now we're going to secure this bracket to the bracket you attach to the planer itself. It should fit right over the top of it. We're going to be using this bolt, the shorter of the bolts, with one nut. Then we're going to take and put it through here. Now we're just going to go around and tighten all of these bolts and screws up so that uh, we can calibrate it. All right, when you put the double stick tape on, you want to make sure before you stick it that these two spacers will be on the flat part of this tape. I messed up, put one up here, it kind of throws everything off as far as not being able to stick well. So make sure it's on the flat part. And then also, if you want to mount this permanently, those holes right there, you can just drill through and put a screw and or a bolt and bolt that on there permanently if you don't like double stick tape. You need the double stick tape for the spacers, but otherwise you can mount them permanently. Once everything's tightened down, you're just gonna put the battery in. It's pretty easy, and they give you a spare battery, which is awesome. However, there is a USB power cable, so you can plug this into a power block, or you can run it off of battery power, so you get two different options there. Before we calibrate, make certain all of your bolts are tight, because if anything is not tight and it moves after you calibrate it, you wasted your time. So make sure tighten every one of these bolts. I think there's two that connect to the frame, then there's five more. Just make sure everything's really snug. Don't over tighten and mess something up. It's all aluminum stuff. Just give it a good snug. That's all you need. Now it's time to calibrate and get this thing rolling. I'm gonna show you what it can do. Now to calibrate, just get you a nice flat board. Make sure it's you know good flat board on each side and then you're gonna run it through one time. In other words, you're gonna make sure the planer is cutting the top of the board so that we can set the height. Because if you don't run a board through and start cutting, then it won't really have a reference when you start the next time, if that makes sense. Now to calibrate, you're gonna turn on the DRO. Then you're gonna push the bottom two buttons for about three seconds. You'll start seeing the flashing numbers. And then from there, you're just gonna use the unit number to change numbers. It'll go all the way up one through zero and then reset 
And then if you want to change positions or change decimal places, you're gonna hold the unit button down for about two seconds and you'll see the next uh, digit start flashing. Then you can move those numbers where you want them. What we're going to do here is match the exact number we had on the caliper, 0 0.830. Then from there, we're gonna move the planter down just a little bit, run the board through, and we'll check it with the caliper to ensure that they're exactly the same. If they are, you're calibrated, ready to roll. On the DRO, we have 0.813, and then the board should read 813 as well. We're, we're so close it hurts. I mean, we're right there. If you don't have a digital caliper, I'll drop a link to a couple of different ones, a good budget option, and then the one I use. The great thing is if you want to change those units, you just push the unit button one time. It's going to change from decimals to fractions, and then over to millimeters, and then back to decimals. Personally, I like the decimals, but you do you. At any point, you could also put that button, calibrate zero. It'll zero those out. You'll have to recalibrate it after that, but if you need to zero it out for any reason, you can. At this point, honestly, why don't we in America just go metric? It, wouldn't it be easier? It probably would. We're stubborn, that's why. As you can see, super easy to install. Now you're gonna be worried about the battery life, because I am, right? This thing will auto power off after a little bit, so you don't have to worry about it staying on, running the battery down. They did give you an extra, and it is a common size battery you can find anywhere else. Or if you really wanted to just plug it in, if you have a stationary place to keep this, you can plug it into 110, have it powered the whole time. You will notice you'll have a couple of extra brackets and some bolts and things you're not gonna use. I'm not sure why they're in the box, but they are. It's really a waste, but you, you really don't need them. All you're gonna need to install it on the DW735 is the bolts and pieces you saw. There is a stick on manual gauge or a visual gauge if you wanna stick that on there. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use the digital, but there is one included if you wanna do that. One great thing is it has a very good viewing angle. You can see looking top down, it's 5'11". I'm 5'11", looking down on it. Plenty of readability from this height at any angle, really, other than when it catches a glare from my video light stuff. But other than that, like it, normal conditions, you're not gonna have any trouble reading that. And I am getting older and sometimes it's hard to see stuff, especially reading, <laughs> but I can read that. Two things I wish I could change about this if I could. Number one, I wish they would just add some self-tapping screws in the box so that I didn't have to dig in my drunk drawer and find two because you want them to be very, very short. And so make sure you have a couple of short ones if you're gonna mount this permanent. Number two, I wish this power cord was detachable. It's just there if you're not gonna use it. You have to just kind of stick it up here. It'll be out of the way, but I just wish you could take it off and not have to deal with it. Other than those two little nitpicks, this thing is gonna add a lot of convenience to the shop. Again, I loved having it on the Oliver because of that digital accuracy, the repeatability to get the exact same thicknesses on every single board for the whole project tabletops, cutting boards, serving boards, anything that you're making, you can repeat the same thickness over and over and over, even if it's three days later, even if it's three weeks later, that is huge, a very huge convenience, and I like it. Go check it out, link in the description. If you like this video, check out the Bird Shelix upgrade that this planer gives you over the straight knife version right there. Click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist bump.